Servus, Gerdy Verwoerd hier, der Great League Guiding Coach. Uh, standing on the Zopet Charter. And I'll show you where we came from. She's, that's my friend over there. Oh, you can't see her, but she's over there somewhere. So, um, so I'll show you where we came from. Hang on. Of course. Hang on. So There we go. Let me, that's my friend over there. That's that's the Ice Hütte. And that's the ascent we did. Back there. Oh, excuse me. That's the Ice. And then some glaciers in the back there. And then that's the view to the other side. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <coughs> Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Let me go come back into view. Is uh, disconnecting to dis to connect because last week, hang on, let me put that up a bit. Last week I was um, hiking with 40 school kids in the ages of 14 to 16, and um, first of all, we had to hike up in a pouring rain. It was more like a delu del deluge instead of a, a regular rainstorm. So we were all, all 44 of us, 46 of us, um, soaked to the skin. I didn't have a dry thread on my body anymore. And I had proper gear on. So you can imagine what those kids had, go had gone through. So we came to the mountain inn and, um, oh horror, no internet connection up there. So... Um, that could have turned quite ugly with four, 40, four zero kids who are of the I'm always connected to the internet generation. However, what happened was what I hoped would happen uh, and that was that instead of complaining about the fact that they didn't have an internet connection um, they sat down in the uh, Stube, which is sort of a restaurant area, and started talking to each other, which was exactly the goal why they were there in the first place, because they were on a school camp, and um, they were there to get to know each other better. And that's hard when you buried your face in a uh, internet-connected device. So what happened was that they sat down, they started talking to each other, they started to get to know each other, they uh, told each other stories, they played games, there was lots and lots of laughter. It was just great fun. Next day, the weather had improved dramatically and we came down the mountain dry, that helped too. But the best part was one, when one of those kids told me this was the best this was the best part of their whole week uh, of school camp and that's really why i take people into the mountains with me especially when it comes to families because families too have an, have this um sometimes oh stay with me come on there you go there you go stay with me here because oftentimes I have noticed in families, uh, it's hard to put the devices down and to connect to each other and to talk to each other about what dreams the parents had for themselves and for their kids and what dreams the kids have for themselves. And sometimes it's just about getting to know each other better, even though you're part of the same family. And that's why I take people into the mountains, because in the mountains, in most places, you don't have internet connection. You don't have the possibility to get onto a device. Yes, I am using my phone right now, but I have no internet connection and I'm not interested in an internet connection, to be quite honest. My phone has been on airplane mode ever since I left the car, which is four and a half hours ago. And it will be on airplane mode until I get there, unless something happens. And uh, I need to call search and rescue. But otherwise, 
no reason for me to put it on any other mode than airplane mode. And that's when you don't have your device to bury yourself in, to bury yourself in the internet, to bury yourself in Facebook or anything like that. <coughs> there's nothing left but to connect with the person sitting next to you, whether that's somebody you've just met or whether that's um, a family member, your kid or your partner or your parent for that matter. So next time you go into nature, I invite you to turn off your phone or to at least put it on airplane mode. Have everybody else in the group do that too and get to know each other better. Talk about things that you're curious about. Talk about the things that you want to share with your kids that you want them to know about you. And as kids, talk about the things that you want your parents to know about you. For now, I'll be going down there let me show you, down there somewhere, there, with a view, like that, oh. and then uh, back to the car. So as always, go there greatly, bye bye.